Welcome back to the channel. For the reason that many people are interested in the mechanics of Blood Knight, and they don't necessarily want to play this character, or don't have all the essences yet. So in this episode I will present all the abilities and synergies possible for this class. Below you can find time stamps if you are interested in a particular skill. All are used without gems, and set pieces, so damage is lower, but comparable. Ravage. Unleash a barrage of polar thrusts and sweeps, dealing 8,000 to 11,000 damage to an enemy and 25% as much to all other enemies. The final strike of the Ravage combo unleashes a wave of energy that deals 5,000 damage to enemies. Ultimate Annihilation Enhance Ravage for 12 seconds, gaining an additional polar in your offhand that increases your range and causes the final attack to knock back enemies. While empowered, Annihilation deals 11,000 to 16,000 damage. You also gain a shield that absorbs damage equal to 20% of your maximum life for 3 seconds. Shadow's Age Wield a blade of pure shadow energy that can be used to slash at nearby enemies, dealing 12,000 damage. If there are no nearby enemies, the blade will be thrown a short distance, dealing 8,000 damage. Shadow's Edge now marks enemies causing them to erupt for 11,500 additional damage when reaching for marks. After Shadow's Edge hits an enemy, to blades ricochet out randomly, targeting nearby enemies and dealing 8,000 damage to them. Shadows Embrace Ultimate Enhance Shadows Edge for 12 seconds, throwing a volley of five shadow blades that penetrate enemies, dealing 10,000 damage for each blade that strikes an enemy. You also gain a shield that absorbs damage equal to 20% of your maximum life for 3 seconds. Tendrils of Blood Shoot bloody tendrils into nearby enemies, dealing 9,000 damage. Activate again to pull all afflicted enemies and dealing an additional 6,000 damage. Bloody Ejection Tendrils of Blood shoot out and latch on to nearby enemies, dealing 11,000 damage. Activate again to throw all afflicted enemies to the target location, stunning them for two seconds while dealing an additional 6,000 damage. Keepsake Bonds Tendrils of Blood now tether you to an enemy, immobilizing you and stunning them for up to three seconds, while the blood tether holds it continually deals 44,500 damage to the enemy. Activate Tendrils of Blood again to break the tether. Wave of Blood Expel a wave of blood that knocks back enemies dealing 11,000 damage. Skill has maximum to charges. Wave of blood range increased by 26% from head, and wave of blood also reduces the movement speed of any enemies, hit by 40% for 5.6 seconds from armor essence, or another armor essence. 
wave of blood maximum charge is increased by one. Well of death. Wave of blood knock creates a well of death at the target location. The well of death continually deals 1,700 damage every half seconds and slows enemies within. Enemies that remain within the area for three seconds will become immobilized. Wave of blood no longer has charges unless you use armor essence. Fountain of Despair Wave of Blood now releases a bloody explosion, dealing 12,500 damage to enemies within the area. Enemies struck are also knocked back and stunned for two seconds. Cruer Eruption Wave of blood unleashes an eruption of blood around you, dealing 11,000 damage and knocking up nearby enemies. It has maximum, it charges, or three with armor. Sanguinate. Liquefy into a bloody form for two and a half seconds, increasing your movement speed by 50%. Activate again to coagulate your being and rush forward, dealing 9,000 for 100 damage to enemies you pass through. With armor essence, Sanguinate now also shatters enemy armor, increasing the damage they take by 16% for 3 seconds. Blood rises. Sanguinate's second activation now causes you to burst into the air, dealing 10,000 damage while knocking back and stunning nearby enemies for two seconds. Siphon blood continually siphoned from the prey around you, dealing 3,300 damage to all nearby enemies also healing yourself for 15% of the damage done. Using siphoned blood slowly consumes its energy, which recovers once siphoned blood is not in use. With two weapon essences we gain. Siphoned blood also slows enemy movement speed by 30%, absorbing their vigor, and increases your movement speed by 10%, up to 30% and when siphon blood damages the same enemy three times it causes them to hemorrhage dealing 2500 additional damage as well as from shoulders siphon blood also converts 10 percent of the damage done into an absorb shield up to a maximum of 14,000 damage or another option siphon blood now also deals 30 to percent increased damage to enemies suffering from continual damage effects crimson shackles Siphon blood now unleashes a burst of blood that slows and binds enemies to you, dealing 7,800 damage. After two seconds, you expel a wave of blood, stunning bound enemies for three seconds while dealing an additional 14,000 damage. Essence Drain Siphon blood now instantly drains the life of surrounding enemies, dealing 4,800 damage. The life drain can be directed to you or a nearby ally granting a shield that absorbs 9,000 damage. Shielding an ally will also grant you a shield. The amount of damage absorbed by the shield is increased based on the number of enemies you drained, up to a maximum of six. Players hit by siphon blood generate twice the absorbed shield of monsters. Grizzly Pilgrim Siphon blood now conjures a blood ritual around you for five seconds, continuously dealing 2,000 
100 damage to nearby enemies while also healing you for 15% of the damage. In addition, Siphon Blood heals are twice as much when damaging an enemy player. Power Siphon Siphon Blood now deals 8,300 damage to nearby enemies, absorbing their power. Afflicted enemies deal 30% reduce damage and increase your damage down by 10%, up to 40. Swarm of Bats. Call a cloud of bats to attack enemies for 8 seconds, continually dealing for 1000 damage. The cloud of bats will pursue enemies and can be redirected by activating this skill again. From chest piece we are able to additionally increase its damage. What's more, from legs we have two options. Swarm of Bats now also heals you for 24% of the damage it deals. Or Swarm of Bats now also poisons enemies, causing them to take 1800 continual damage for 3 seconds. Cloud of Bats Swarm of bats now engulfs you in a of bats for 5 seconds, continually dealing for 1000 damage to nearby enemies. Blood Swarm Swarm of bats now shrouds you in a fog of blood mist for 2 seconds, increasing your movement speed by 50% and making you intargetable while also continually dealing 7,000 damage to nearby enemies. Bat Raid Swarm of Bats now unleashes a barrage of bats, dealing 6,500 damage to enemies in their path, but the cooldown is now 9 seconds and has a maximum of 2 charges. Mephetic Cloud. Release a toxic cloud around you for 6 seconds that confuses enemies, causing monsters to attack each other and restricts targeting for players. Additionally, from shoulders, we get bonus. Mephitic Cloud also causes harmful effects to last 48% longer, and from legs, Mephitic Cloud lasts 36% longer. or another leg's essence. While you remain inside Mephitic Cloud, your attack and movement speed are increased by 24%. Shroud of Night. Shroud yourself and nearby allies in darkness for 8 seconds, causing shadowy apparitions of yourselves to emerge every one and half seconds to unleash a primary attack against your enemies. Worth mention that this skill stacks up with all primary attack essences. From head we have two options. Increase your evasion rating by 19% or duration increased by 36%. Shield of Darkness, Shroud of Night, now conjures shadowy apparitions every two seconds for eight seconds that grant shields to you and nearby allies, absorbing 13,500 damage for two seconds. Dark Cloning, Shroud of Night now empowers you for 6 seconds, causing every other primary attack to conjure a shadowy apparition to attack enemies. Marked for Death, Shroud of Night empowers you and 
nearby allies, causing your primary attacks to mark enemies for death. The marks explode upon reaching five stacks, dealing 19,500 damage. Spear Flurry Channel a flurry of polar attacks, dealing for 1,000 to 100 damage to enemies in front of you. Upon activation, if no enemies are nearby, you will dash forward a short distance before the onslaught begins. Using Spear Flurry slowly consumes its energy, which recovers all Spear Flurry is not in use. Additionally, we can increase its damage from Hit Essence and get bleed effect from shoulders. Core Flow Spear Flurry now causes you to dash forward, dealing 10,500 damage to all enemies in your path. Spear Flurry can be activated again to additional times. Spear Charge Spear Flurry now causes you to run forward, dealing 12,800 damage and knocking back enemies in your path. Activate Spear Flurry again to cancel these effects early. Enemy players can only be affected by the knockback once every three seconds. Tour de Force or Tour de France, the choice is yours. Spear Flurry knocks enemies into the air, continuously dealing for thousand damage. But you will no longer dash to enemies out of range. Players knocked into the air for two seconds become immune to the knockup and cannot be affected by it again for three seconds. Whirling Strike Whirl your spear around you multiple times, dealing 15,000 for 100 damage to nearby enemies. It has maximum to charges. From chest essence, whirling strike also grants 5% damage reduction per enemy hit for 4 seconds. This effect stacks up to a maximum of 6 times. From head essence, we are able to block enemy projectiles or gain additional 1 stack. Kettling Strike Whirling Strike now sweeps your pullum in front of you, dealing 10,000 for 100 damage and slowing enemies, reducing their movement speed by 70% for 6 seconds. In addition, all enemies struck by your spear are pulled to the side of the attack and gathered together. Cod Sweep Whirling Strike is now infused with frost, dealing 15,000 for 100 damage to all nearby enemies and applying a chill that reduces attack and movement speed by 40% for 4 seconds. Sweeping Flames Whirling Strike now combusts, dealing 15,000 for 100 damage to all nearby enemies. Enemies struck also burn for an additional 8,000 damage over 3 seconds. Burst Strike Whirling Strike now unleashes a blast wave, dealing 11,500 damage to enemies in the path. It has maximum 3 charges. Skewer. Skewer an enemy, and then slam the enemy into the ground, dealing 10,000 damage to all other nearby enemies and stunning them for 3 seconds. From offhand essence, Skewer also increases your damage down by 16% for 4 seconds. Vicious Lift. Skewer now causes you to sprint forward while the skill is held. When the skill is released or after for seconds, perform a brutal uppercut with your spear that knocks up enemies, hit and deals 15,000 damage. Leaping Smash 
Skewer now causes you to leap into the air and slam into the target location, dealing 13,000 damage. Enemies hit or knocked up in the air and stun. Abomination. Consume all your anger to transform into an unholy abomination for 15 seconds, increasing your damage down and replacing your skills with blood rush and shattering fists. In this form you can only use the skills blood rush. Move forward a short distance, dealing 12,000 damage to enemies in your path and shattering fists. Unleash a series of massive blows, dealing 9,500 to 13,000 damage to all nearby enemies, with every third attack causing a knockback. From shoulders, we have two options. While Abomination is active, defeating an enemy grants you Abominations might increasing your damage down by 5%, up to a maximum of 24%. Or, while Abomination is active, defeating an enemy increases the remaining duration of Abomination by 0.6 seconds, up to a maximum increase of 7.2 seconds, as well as from legs essenced. While Abomination is active, defeating an enemy heals you for 7% of your life, up to a maximum of 112% life restored. Or, Abomination also conjures an unholy aura around you for the duration of your transformation, dealing 2,000 damage every second to nearby enemies. Transfusion Fortify yourself or an ally with enriched blood, granting a shield for 3 seconds that absorbs 15,500 damage. Additionally, harmful effects will be removed from the target player and they will become immune to harmful effects for the duration of the shield. Targeting an ally with transfusion causes you to rush to their aid. Transfusion can be activated again one additional time within five seconds of the first cast. Check other videos. And as always, thanks for watching.